Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, boys and girls, depending on where you are around the freaking world. And um, I know you guys have been asking for me to do uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Gwenan. So hey, she uploaded a video a couple of days ago saying new weight loss journey. So let's see what she's got to say. And then obviously we can keep tabs and obviously throughout, you know what I mean, from today onwards. Um, but with that being said, boys and girls, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, that 9K is so close. And at the same time, smash the like button, people. Come on and uh, comment throughout and also share the video at the end. But let's not waste any more time and let's see what Miss uh, Jennifer has got to say for herself. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to you as well. My name is Jennifer, and this is my channel. So today is going to be a kind of just talking video. I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in quite some time. I've been doing other vlogmas type of videos like crafting, cooking, decorating, that type of thing. I still have some Christmas content that I'm going to be releasing, kind of like a mashup of the rest of the footage that I didn't get out for Christmas. Um, there's a lot of the decorating that I didn't get out. We were just busy doing other things and I didn't get as many videos out as I'd hoped, but that's okay because the videos we did put out, I loved and I think Gene has been doing an amazing job at editing. I give him all the credit because they've made my videos go from boring to interesting, I think. So I appreciate that in him very much. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm I mean, yo, boys and girls, compared to Amberlynn Reed and Chantel, her breathing is far worse. Wow. I mean, obviously the video is sped up, but I'm just saying I watch all of them on sped up speed, you know what I mean? So it's the same intake and wow. Dealing with like an upper respiratory kind of issue here. Um, I've been dealing with this for quite some time off and on and it just seems to be lingering and it's mostly in my throat and my chest right now and it, I get short of breath when I talk so you're gonna have to bear with me with the talking and... Oh okay 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 so it's, it's, it's not it's not the fact that she's got a certain amount of weight and the fact that she doesn't keep herself fit and she's not on the move enough as I mean I've seen a little bit of her before you know I'm not just completely new to this woman but she's okay 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 let's just let's let's just comment let's go. <laughs> um, but I am getting better and I do feel a lot better. Uh, Christmas Day was a little rough. I felt good up until like around one o'clock. We had brunch. Gene made these very delicious eggs and egg bake that his mom used to make on Christmas morning for them. And we ate and then we decided we were going to lay down and watch the Christmas movies. And then I started feeling horrible. So I actually slept off and on most of the rest of the day. So Christmas was kind of a bust. It was nice because we did have a white Christmas, so that was exciting. Um, waking up early on Christmas morning, we had coffee while we were watching the snowfall, and Gene got to go out in the snow on Christmas morning. I think that was his very first white Christmas, and we enjoyed that. So all in all, it turned out pretty good. Getting better, getting rid of this crud that I have, and then we'll be doing a lot better. Before I start talking about anything else, I want to thank Gene and I got a very special, very amazing Christmas gift from Marcine. She sent me the um, duvet cover and sheet set that was on my wish list on Amazon. It is beautiful. I would actually love to have like a, um, a maxi dress or a maxi skirt made out of this fabric and pattern because I think it's beautiful. It reminds me of boho, hippie chick kind of pattern. I love it. So, <laughs> just like the other YouTubers, you know, has a title that says weight loss, but then he doesn't even, she doesn't even get into the point. Oh, man. These ladies love to make a long story for nothing. And then at the end of it, boom. But okay, we know, we'll and go. to wash it actually today and put it on the bed. Very excited about that. So thank you so much, Marcine. We both appreciate it and we love it very much. All right, this is an add-on of what Marcine got us. The mail just came. We just got back in from getting the mail. And she got, also got us, along with the blanket, the debate cover, she got us two laundry bags. These are the cutest laundry bags ever. Let me show you. Oh, hold on. Let me show you. She got us something else. So Jean doesn't have to stand here and hold it forever. It's a so... mixing bowl set. There's all different sizes from under a quart. Let's say quart. Yeah, to quart. Up to a seven quart mixing bowl set with lids. Thank you so much, Marcine. That will definitely come in very handy. And then laundry bags are the cutest laundry bags I've ever seen. I've had them on my wish list forever because I kept thinking I'd buy them. Maybe, maybe next time I'll buy them. Maybe next time I'll buy them. And I never did. Yeah, so thank you so much for seeing these are so cute look at these this one says wash me put a little smiley face it reminds me of what people write on the back of people's cars yeah it does i mean and i'm just waiting the for, the, thing, for the reason why we're here oh, it's something different. Did I say something? yeah it says wash me it's the same thing just different color wash me love this that'll come in very handy for our laundry because we're always throwing laundry all over the place 
and our laundry basket's actually falling apart. So that'll be good. We can just put it in there with the drawstrings, take it down to the laundry room. It'll be very easy to do that way. Thank you so much. So what makes you believe that this laundry bag is going to do any better than the first one? If you're clearly not looking after it because you're both just overpacking it because you're both lazy to go and get it done when you need to get it done. It's like, what the... At least I don't, I don't even care. I mean, I'm just, I'm just like, yo, you know what? Honestly, I thought Amberlyn Ridge was bad. We're making titles and then whambling on about whatever. But I can tell it what she's talking about. This one now, on the other hand, oh my gosh. Wow. Now I know why I didn't want to react to this woman anymore. Because wow, she's in, a, she's in the next level. But let's see, let's see. Listen, it's early. It's early. You know what I mean? Okay. Much we'll keep at it. It's so all good. And we appreciate it so very much. Thank you very much. So as I had mentioned, I didn't get up a lot of videos in the month of December. December turned out to be quite busy for both of us. Okay. Um, we got involved in some activities around the community, Fantastic. decorating the lobby and the outside of our apartment building for Christmas, okay. and some other activities involving our community where we live. And time just got away from us. Uh, we Marvelous. We got involved in some of our own activities as well, and just kept busy. And so I didn't get a lot of videos put out. Um, I thought I would show you a couple of things that kept me kind of busy during the month of December. Thank I'll you. I'll insert a picture here of what I made for my male lady. She is the sweetest lady ever, and she collects Snoopies of all kinds. So I'm always looking for something of Snoopy to give to her for her birthday or Christmas. And I'm never really sure what to give her because I don't know what she has because she shops on eBay a lot for different Snoopy things. And she, when I say she collects them, she has a large collection of them. So I decided to make her a Snoopy in hopes that she didn't have one quite like the one I made. Like, What is it? It's a fuzzy? Looks like powdered sugar or flour. You're welcome. It must have been on my, on the counter or something. Powdered sugar, I'm sweet. Mm, good you know what though, I'm, oh, oh hold on, hold on. <laughs> For it. For it. I know you are. So, and then this is the other thing that I'm working on. This is for Do you know what though? It's annoying because you can't see my mouse, but uh, when you she has her hair, so obviously you got the pot. She's got the pot, and obviously here, right? You see the hair that's on that's that, that, that's on this side, on this side of her head, not this side of her head. You see her eye right there, that dent. It's crazy because that's not even a dent in her head. That's just due to the fact that her cheeks are so big. The weight has just pushed itself up, so she's got like a it looks like she's got a dent in the side of her eyes. I mean, it's, it's, on, it's on both sides, but because that side's got a shadow, it enhances it even more, you know what I mean? And, wow. I've never really sort of seen that, you know, from someone, you know, um, who is on the, you know, obviously on the mobile obese kind of side of things. And that, that, that doesn't look healthy, you know? I mean, amongst other things, obviously, about her appearance, it just doesn't look healthy at all. That is worried. I mean, listen, I'm not an expert. It's probably nothing, but I'm just saying it's the fact that her cheeks are so big and so kind of swollen, it looks swollen, that this part of her face somehow is, it doesn't want to accommodate any kind of weight. Do you know what I mean? Whatever. So it's like they just. That's just, that's just something new. I, I, I've never seen that before, to be fair. Wow. And I hope she's not watching. Of course, I'm not going to say my friend's name of who is getting this. It's obviously going to be a late Christmas gift, but I'm making her a blanket, kind of like an oversized throw in the colors of blue and off white. This is what I have so far. This is just the traditional granny square. Works up pretty fast. And so that's what I've been working on. I'm also working on a, um, and I'll show you that in the next video, a Harry Potter, stuffed Harry Potter for my neighbor as well. Her birthday is in January. So I'm going to give that to her for her birthday because she loves, she's obsessed with all things Harry Potter. Um, Thank you. So that's what's kept me pretty busy during the month of December. So now let's talk about the reason, the main reason why I'm making this video. Please. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions over the last few days, a few weeks, and it's getting to be that time of the year again, where the old year is getting ready to end and the new year is getting ready to start. Usually around this time, I make this big sweeping announcement that I'm going to be on a new weight loss journey and I have all these weight loss goals and these things that I want to accomplish in the new year. And let's just be honest, I never do them, ever do them. Um, I don't think I'm going to make any new year's resolutions this year. I might make some promises to myself, but I'm not going to call them resolutions because I always end up failing those miserably. So back in November, I think it was, somebody had left this comment and they even knew the title of my video and the date of the video. I can't remember that right at the moment. So if that person is watching, if you want to comment that video down below, I will pin your comment. Um, that talked about, I was starting a new weight loss journey and if I didn't lose weight this time, if I didn't make some serious
Okay, no ping comment, so that person is not there. Okay, cool. Curious, but okay, let's go. Let's continue. Progress that I would no longer be coming on here proclaiming a weight loss journey and talking about keto and Weight Watchers or counting calories or just it wouldn't be directly weight loss involved My channel wouldn't be because I get tired of saying it and not doing it I know a lot of you get tired of hearing me say it and not do it and it just sounds like a broken record Obviously, I have not lost weight. Obviously, I've gained weight. I've gained quite a bit of weight I have not stepped on a scale. I have no plans to step on a scale at this moment not because I don't want to tell you guys what I weigh, which I don't because it's probably going to be embarrassing, and more or less that I don't want to know myself because I know I'll be devastated. I will, it will probably send me into a tailspin of wanting to just eat more and just say, forget it, it's impossible and I don't want to deal with it. So to save myself from that... I mean, she's coming out with some, some strong points, some very strong points, but I mean, based on the things that I've heard about this young lady herself in particular, it's not like those points realistically do relate to her like that much because it seems to me as if she's someone that has just decided that there is no point. But she's obviously trying to say that, you know, when she sees a scale, it makes it go even worse. And I'm not saying that's not, tr that's not true. That's obviously something that is true for a lot of people. But really, truly... My apologies, boys and girls. But really and truly, if you, see a, if you go on a scale, you see a number that's obviously higher than your previous number, you know? I mean, that should be some f form of core, core motivation, do you know what I mean? More core driven to want to do better, you know what I mean? Because, you know, if you see your numbers going up and up and up, I think that's the moment in your life that you have to highlight, okay, so if they keep going up, what are going to be the consequences, you know what I mean? And I think that's the key thing, thinking about those consequences. If you're thinking about, if you're ignoring the consequences and you're thinking, oh, I might as well just carry on going because I'll never lose it, then that's you neglecting your subconscious that's, that should be telling you that, hold on a minute, if I do carry on, I may not be able to spend time with my nephews or my nieces or my kids, you know what I mean, okay? Or I may not be old enough to grow up to see my kids have their kids, you know what I mean? Or or, or I don't know, or I may not ever be able to work a job that maybe I want to do, you know what I mean? Or I may never be able to, to leave the house or drive or whatever, you know what I mean? So, listen, I might even end up being in a being in a hospital, hospitalized, you know what I mean? So, those are the things that you should allow your mind to really circulate out into your head to be like, okay, look, okay, cool. I've tried to lose weight, but I haven't. I've gained more weight, but you know what? I can't just act like it's, it's impossible. I've got to tell myself, these, these, you know, what's going to happen if I don't better myself, do you know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, I can't say that. Now, what I'm saying, guys, is just some advice that I'm giving to the people watching right now. In terms of herself in particular, I'm not too sure. But obviously, you know, I've got to suss out her character a bit more. But obviously, people are saying that she's just as bad as the others. You know what I mean? But of course, I've got to experience it for myself. Um, but the fact that she's admitted to me or admitted to you guys that she says these things every single year says a lot. So, yeah. I am not going to be weighing myself yet. Probably not for a few weeks. Oh, so um, she will? Be? Okay. Am I going to start a new weight loss journey? Personally, yes, I'm going to get back on track. Will I show those things? Yes, but I'm not going to make my channel revolve around a weight loss journey. I'm going to just post my videos of what's going on in my life. I will make videos about what I'm eating. Hopefully do a few weigh-ins. Will there be weight loss content on my channel? Yes. Will it revolve strictly around weight loss? No. I have a lot of ideas that I want to include this year. Gene has been doing an amazing job editing my videos. And he has some great ideas. He's over here. Come over here and do that, what you're doing. Uh-huh. After some struggle, he finally did what he was doing behind the camera. Um, so he has been doing an amazing job with editing. I wish I had half the creative talent that he has. It's interesting yeah. though, because... <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm in deja vu? We've listened to Ambeline Reed talk about her New Year's resolution or, or the new plan for 2021. And uh, kind of the same thing with Chantel, right? a little bit, right? Why do I feel like they all tell us exactly the same thing, you know? Oh, yeah, you know, like, listen, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, Ambeline was like, listen, guys, I'm not going to say that I'm going to set a plan, da, 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 da. But one thing I'm going to do is set a schedule. And on Monday, I'm going to do this. Wednesday, I'm going to do this. Friday, I'm going to do this, okay? Now, obviously, this young lady, so in particular, she's coming out and saying, well, I'm not going to say anything, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to make my channel about this, but obviously, I will be doing the odd video here and there. Honestly, these women are just copying each other. It's actually ridiculous. Actually freaking ridiculous. You look like absolute muppets. Why are you all copying each other? And we know you all know each other. You know what I mean? I've got to double check though what Chantel says. I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure if Chantel said anything just yet, to be fair. Um, no, no, do you know what? You know, she, Chantel has said a lot of things this in 2020 and even near the end, you know what I mean? But either way, uh, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't put it past her. Simple as that. No, she did, no, she made it. Yeah, she did. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm, losing, I'm losing track of my mind. But either way, all these three ladies are just telling us the same thing. 
Wow, man, they must have little Zoom meetings or something. This is ridiculous. How can I believe you? I mean, I've just come here, but I, I just can't believe you. I'm, I'm hearing no. Stop. No. And so uh, with his help, I have a lot of ideas that I want to share with you guys, videos that I want to share, some more interesting, I find more interesting things than just failed weight loss attempts. And hopefully that I will lose weight in the coming year. I like I the way she loves it. She, she keeps repeating the failed weight loss attempts. Yep. Nope. She's setting herself up. Now She's I setting us up. Gene and I were talking about this and I finally came to the conclusion that Gene and I were set on moving for a number of months and we had planned on being moved by now we had planned on being moved by october and we just started feeling like maybe it wasn't the right time maybe we needed a little bit more time to get things organized in our lives um, money saved for one and just that we weren't ready for for that yet and i was feeling more and more stress as the months ticked on and as october came and we we weren't we weren't moving and we were just at a loss of what to do, I felt like I was sabotaging myself because I felt like if I didn't lose weight, that I would be more or less stuck here. And if I was stuck here, I wouldn't be forced into moving. So I didn't even realize that I was feeling that way until I did a lot of soul searching and trying to figure out why I keep sabotaging myself, why I don't get serious about losing weight for myself. And that was a big reason, uh, fear, fear of change. I do not do change well at all. And so, we just actually signed our new lease for another year here. I don't think we'll be here for another year. I don't see that in the cards for us, but definitely for a few more months. And there's no pressure now that we have to move at any certain time. We know we have at least a year. And next year, if we're not ready again, then we won't be ready. But I think I think taking the pressure off of myself that I think I will be ready sooner than later. So basically, she's saying that she only move if she loses weight. I, I mean, I mean that that's what I'm getting from here. So basically, she's trying to tell us that... Uh, She's not gonna lose weight, and she's gonna continue living in this place. I don't know, but okay, okay. There's definitely a twist to the stale. I feel like this woman is really trying to set me up, set us up for like the future of what's gonna happen of her relapsing to continue eating. It just there's just so many things she's saying that just doesn't line up for me, but okay. Able to accomplish more without the stress of that. That was the biggest stress in in my life in since summer, since the end of summer. So. It was definitely something that was weighing my soul down. It was weighing me down spiritually, emotionally, obviously physically. Um, Gene, on the other hand, has been doing amazingly at his sobriety. I am so proud of him. He has drank once in the last, I think, three months or more now. I mean, it may be... I lost direct three months. Yeah, it's, if it's not three months, it's almost three months. Um, he's drank once in all that time, and I am so proud of him. He has been doing amazing, and he has not even complained about not being able to drink. He has stepped up so much, and I am so proud of him. Somebody in the comments said accused me of being triggered when people said, people say all the time that he looks drunk in the videos or I look high. Um, I honestly do not take anything other than Advil. So oh, it's my skin color. Oh, it's his skin color because he looks red. Uh, that's, um, that's my natural Irish skin color. Yes, yeah, because his beard is even reddish when you, if you see him. Um, but some, but I had responded back to somebody who said that he was drunk and I, I gave him credit of being sober for so long. And somebody said, well, I was triggered. That's why I answered. It has nothing to do with tri being triggered. It has to do with being extremely proud of him. I have not done even a tenth of as well as he has done. And I am so proud of him. I'm in now, sweetie. Okay, I love you. Okay, so my portion of my video just a little while ago ended very abruptly. What I was talking about was no grand weight loss journeys declaration of I'm going to lose X amount of pounds. I do want to work on myself. And I do want to share that with you guys working on myself, but that's going to be focused on myself. If I don't make a video for a couple weeks, if you don't see me for a couple weeks, doesn't mean that I'm ill, doesn't mean that you have to listen to rumors that I'm in the hospital and I'm dying. None of that will be true. Um, I don't plan on being gone for two weeks at a time, but if that's something that I feel that I need to do from time to time, that's what I'm going to do is to take care of myself, focus on me, focus on Jean, our relationship, and moving forward in life and getting healthier and in a better place. We have a lot of cool things going to be happening in the new year. Um, but that those things all depend on if I can get healthy, if Gene stays healthy, and I'm sure he will because he's doing wonderfully, but it mainly depends on me. Um, I am the one holding us back, I feel. Gene would disagree because he's very kind, and he, he Fido. sometimes I think that he just doesn't Enabler. want to say it because he's too kind, but I feel that I am the one Fido. that's holding us back from a lot of things, and I know that, and I don't want to hold him back with his life because I know he won't move on without me because he loves me that much, and I don't want to hold him back. So I want us to move forward and I don't want to sabotage our life together um, in any area. So there's a lot of work that I need to do in my life to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, and just being happy with myself, holding myself back in my own life. Fantastic, fantastic. The video is basically pretty much done now. You know, listen, best of luck to the woman, best of luck to the woman. 
I mean, um, I'm, I'm not going to speak too, too soon or whatever. Like, I believe that she's going to get this done. But uh, best of luck to her. Uh, best of luck to Jenny clearly as well. Because obviously he has his own issues, you know what I mean? Um, but obviously history has shown, based on what she said in this video, that uh, failing is something that she does all the time. And not only does she fail, but uh, she continues to obviously stack on more and more of that weight. And this is the thing, you know, if Jeannie is someone that is, is someone that is recovering from being an alcoholic, you know, and, uh, uh, and, and she is telling the truth that he has recovered, but she keeps relapsing in her situation, then I don't feel like that, that's going to benefit him. You know, it's probably going to trigger him to probably go back as well. Because if and sometimes in relationships, if one isn't trying, the other one then doesn't bother trying either. Do you know what I mean? They're like, oh, what's the point of me trying by myself? So I really hope, obviously, you know, that he is in a good, in a good place. And I really hope that she does do better for herself as well as, as, well as for the relationship. But at the same time, Gene could easily be one of those people that's more than happy to be with her because maybe he's just a feeder. Do you know what I mean? Who knows? But at the end of the day, boys and girls, we're going to leave it there with uh, Jennifer Gwen Ann. And yeah, we'll definitely touch base to this young lady again. Uh, you know you know what I mean? And see, obviously, where the progression is going with her weight loss journey. Um, but until then, boys and girls, um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And there's going to be some more content uploaded very soon. Peace.